Here are 12 tips if you're looking to buy in the villages. The villages, of course, is the world's largest retirement area, and the property owners north of 466 won a lawsuit almost 10 years ago. And when they won that lawsuit against a the developer, they, uh, they were granted almost $40 million, of which now I'm not quite sure. I would say maybe $25 million is left in that fund, but they have a huge reserve fund north of 466, and that area is run by uh, the residents in that area. Number two, I would suggest that anybody looking to buy in the villages, try to find a lanai that faces east or north. You're going to be much cooler during the summer months, and not to mention that your utility bills will be lower, and you'll get more use out of that area in your house. The village has, has 660 holes of golf, and they also have many pickleball courts in the villages. But one thing you have to be aware of is the sound of these pickleball courts. They could just drive you crazy if you're too close to these courts. So be aware of that. Imagine hearing these people uh, playing the game of pickleball, not to mention the ball hitting the paddle. Uh, that's just going to drive you crazy, especially if it's just over your property line. So. For myself, I'll stick to the shuffleboard courts, much quieter, and they, uh, it's nice to have them close to your house. Living on a golf course, what people don't realize when they buy a house in the villages is they're cutting that lawn at 5.30 in the morning. Sometimes earlier if the, in the summertime when the grass is growing and you know, the days are longer. So if you like to sleep late, good luck sleeping if you're next to a golf course, not to mention that errant golf balls going your way. Many of the homes near golf courses are prime property. And uh, good luck uh, trying to put up with some of the swearing that goes out in the golf course also. So something to be aware of. Be careful of golf course lots also if they're too close to the tee. Find a home on the first nine holes if you can, if you're going to buy a golf course lot. And you're wondering why is that? Well, if you're living on a golf course, you also love the game of golf. And it's going to be very hard for you to go out on the on the back nine, you know, to play uh, maybe pitch and putt around the golf course because uh, there's still going to be people out on the course. So that's not going to happen if you live on the front nine. Okay, be careful when driving your golf cart on Morris Boulevard. It's a very busy area. They do not have a dedicated golf cart path over in that area. So it could be very dangerous. Even if you're going over to pick up your mail at one of the mail centers, uh, in the winter months, this is probably one of the busiest areas in the villages. So keep your eye, you keep your eyes wide open in this area. Whether you're buying a brand new home or a pre-owned home, fans are very important. Uh, fans uh, will circulate the air in your home. It will cut down the costs of air conditioning. Uh, you, it's good to have shade on your house to help cut down those costs. And uh, the, the sun is brutally hot in the summer months. So any kind of shade on your home is a big benefit. So always watch for shade on your house and fans on the ceilings. I don't have to tell you that what you already know, is, and that is the villages, is a very beautiful area. All the homeowners are very proud of their house and their property, and they keep it up very well. The snowbirds, they love these villas. Uh, they're easy to maintain. Uh, they, they're low maintenance. A lot of them just have this gravel and rocks there. They have uh, backyards for their dogs. So that's an area that uh, is very popular with the snowbirds. But keep in mind, if you're buying here, it might be a ghost town because uh, they're very busy in the winter months, but you might be the only person living in there uh, during the other months of the year. So keep that in mind when you're walking around or driving around in your golf cart. Uh, everybody likes to keep their property up in the, in the villages. They all have bug control and termite control, and they care, take care of their grass. And Massey is one of the most popular ones in the villages. There's no such thing as a perfect location in the villages. I don't care what house you own in the villages. I could find something wrong with it. But a key one here is when you pull out of your village, make sure that, if at all possible, you're pulling out on either a roundabout or a stoplight. 
because tra when, it, when the traffic is busy, it could be really hard for you, especially all the golf carts uh, zipping around in the villages. So keep that in mind. Also, the golf cart bridges can be very busy as well. Keep your eyes peeled for uh, uh, people who are new behind the golf carts. Uh, the tunnels in the golf carts, I believe there's about 60 of them now. Uh, they're very convenient. They go underneath 466 and 466A. And uh, when this new section comes in south of the turnpike, uh, there will probably be another long tunnel connecting that area as well. Probably the best thing to do is uh, get, your, get yourself a, a hold of a good map of the villages, look it over and try to find out the best possible location for your uh, new home or your pre-existing pre home. Now, gas carts versus electric carts. Um, to me, it's a no-brainer. I definitely would go with a gas cart. The village is getting larger and larger. Uh, last time I heard it was like 40 square miles. That's about the size of Manhattan. And there's bridges and tunnels and golf cart paths to the, to the baseball fields, to the polo grounds. Uh, just the other day, I saw this 93-year-old guy playing baseball. And uh, he, he comes over here in his golf cart from uh, Mallory, which is probably about a four or five mile drive in his golf cart. So golf carts are everywhere, but I definitely would uh, recommend a gas one. Batteries aren't cheap on an electric cart, and, and I believe uh, they only last about four or five years, and you don't want to be stuck somewhere in the villages without a good charge. So gas carts is the way to go in the villages. You won't regret this. And lately they uh, just came out with a, a new golf cart that's just as quiet as an electric cart. Uh, it's made by Yama. It's called the Quiet Tech with independent susp suspension. And this uh, this golf cart by Yama has been getting rave reviews. So I think uh, by the time you put some of the bells and whistles on that golf cart, it's going to run you probably about eleven grand. Okay, one thing to be aware of when you look at a brand new home in the villages is, is they're going to have an a, a bond attached to that house and you're going to be paying that off over a, a period of time. And I think the average cost is probably between twenty and thirty thousand dollars and uh, that bond is used to pay off you know to, to pay for the rec centers, the golf courses, the golf cart paths, swimming pools, pickleball courts, baseball fields and that's what that money is used for. Uh, so if you're buying a new home, there's going to be a bond attached. That will not be the case in most pre-owned homes. So that's something to be aware of. You know, all the costs can really add up if you own a, a beautiful home with a swimming pool and expensive landscaping needs. So uh, I just want everybody to be aware of that. I also recommend that everybody rent in the villages for three months before you buy that new home or pre-existing house. Get a good idea of where you want to live in the villages, you know, whether you want to be on a golf course or near a swimming pool. The people in the villages really take care of their property. They're very proud of the area. There's so much to do there, from uh, swimming classes to uh, exercise classes, in the, like this in the swimming pool uh, near the Savannah Center. Uh, you name a club, they probably have it. So whether you want to live close to one of the uh, entertainment areas like Spanish Springs and uh, Sumter Landing or Brownwood, it's going to be all up to you. Uh, the people in the villages are all very friendly, uh, and you're going to meet them during that three-month period when you're renting your home. So uh, again, you know, don't be uh, afraid to rent a house for three months in the summertime because if you love it. In the villages during the summertime, you can just imagine uh, what you're going to think about it during the wintertime when everybody's freezing their butts up north. So get out there and uh, play some shuffleboard, play some pickleball when you're in the villages during that three-month period and get a good taste of it. Uh, I believe it's like $25 a person for the uh, residential pass while you're renting. You can pick one of those up at your... Uh, town squares they'll be more than happy to help you out so whether you looking to buy a premium home uh, one of these villas that uh, are so popular with the snowbirds or even these little cottage homes there's going to be something for you in the villages 
and then this last one here is a designer home so below this video I will be leaving some helpful links for everybody to help them decide and to learn more about the villages take care